Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to practice one of my personal favorite poses, one that's often forgotten, the twisted quad stretch from lunge. A lot of styles skip it, they don't practice it. However, if your quads get extremely tight, if your thighs get very tight, it'll pull the head of your femur bones forward in their hip sockets, and that will shear and crank your low back. So often if you're dealing with low back pain, if your back is at all tight, you have to get through, go through your quads in order to release your low back. So I'm gonna show you the remedial steps to work towards to get into your thigh stretch, how to safely follow the physical landmarks to know when you're ready to advance and how to advance your twisted thigh stretch. Come on your mat. Starting down dog. Inhale, step your left foot around your left hand for low lunge. Lower your right knee super gently. Inhale, reach your left hand back for your right foot. Hold either side of your foot. If you can't quite reach your foot, use a, a strap or a towel to lasso your foot. If you don't have the strap or towel, if you can't quite reach, let it go. Let it go all the way back to the floor. If you leave it in limbo, it's very easy for your hamstrings to cramp. As you've got your foot, lengthen through both sides of your body long so your left shoulder is even with the base of your neck. So twist a shoulder opener. So much as your weight stays centered on your right thigh, you twist open. Draw your right heel towards your hip and you flick your toes against your hand and tip your hip up towards your heel as if you were magnetic. And as your quad opens, come on to your left forearm gently. How you know you're ready? So your weight stays centered on the face of your right thigh. And there's no diminishment of breath through the left side of your body. So you continue to lengthen through that left side of your body. And draw your heel in again. Engage your right foot, hip up towards your heel. Once they've touched, then you can start to go deeper into your quad stretch by wiggling your back knee further back. And as much as your heel stays glued against your hip, hip against your heel, start to flatten the face of your right thigh more on the floor. Get how to feel that quad smoke. All right, as you release this one, be mindful it's spring-loaded, gently release. All the way back to the floor. Come on up. That's a couple key actions to work your twisted quad stretch. They can be a little intense at first, but watch your whole, your quads, your legs, and your whole back release by working those quad stretches. They are worth it. Give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. I'm Jake. Namaste.